let you hear into my little uh, brainstorm right here, but it's basically jab in a bucket mentality. Like they used to say, crab in a bucket. So it's a way that society is against itself, and it's every it's war on everybody, everybody versus everybody. And and, and look, I'm going to show that this has always been done, and it's a very sophisticated. But it's not that complex, man. It's pretty simple once you break it down. Jab in the bucket is the new medical Willie Lynchism. And you're gonna have to study this guy Willie Lynch. It's called the Lynch Papers from the 1700s, okay? And it was a sophisticated way to instill self-hate into a slave population, okay? And I see a lot of self-hate these days in people in general. And if you practice this stuff, you're going to get poisoned by it. If you inflict this on somebody, at some point, you will suffer from the venom, your own venom. It wasn't your idea in the first place. You learned this from con artists, man, and, and uh, cult leaders, dude. It's literally, science is a cult of sorts. It's an occult, occult. It's confined to a small circle. Like, look, they. it's really... They, they look, it's a mafia, you know, just like the, every other organization, every other freaking fraternal type of organization that, that has that kind of controls in it. But that's part of it. It's the incrementalism and then the compartmentalization, man. So basically, Willie Lynchism was a, a system to turn the young against the old, the man against the woman, to the half breeds against the full bloods, and they would like. They would make the men look like they would, they were slaves so they could at any time be beat, whipped, chased down, harassed, and they would do it in front of the women to instill hate for the men in their women because knowing that they can't protect them. So they would even go and sleep with, with, the, in the household with the worker or with the, uh, you know, the, the ranch hands, whatnot, the plantation, uh, managers. And they would give them sex because they would see them in appeal. And see your own kind with disgust, okay? And disdain. Cause how, how dare you? How could you let us get put in this, this horrible situation? It makes sense. And this is what the attitude that has destroyed the nuclear family in the first place, dude. So it's scientific social engineering and it's to cause a cognitive dissonance, which is a kind of schizoid. Um, borderline like a borderline personality disorder isn't split personalities what they're split in is different broken fractured pieces of themselves throughout their lifetime uh, kind of possess them at different moments and they have many cognitive dissonances which where you have two conflicting beliefs running concurrent inside your main programming okay and with this jab in a bucket mentality, it's literally identical to wearing a star versus a swastika in Nazi Germany. I'm going to show a lot of this stuff from Nazi Germany as well. I mean, schizoid, just, it means split. Um, there's this dude was talking about this thing called, uh, his name's Jay Key, and he does this thing called uh, schizogenesis. And it's a way where they're intentionally causing schizoid uh, like, uh, what is that called, man? Uh, autism. They're causing schizoid autism and borderline and narcissistic personality disorder in people scientifically. And it was a, it was a program put in through these same organizations that basically, uh, made concentration camps. Like America has concentration camps and they've put the Japanese in there, Japanese American citizens in there. And J. Edgar Hoover was paranoid against the, the people in the United States, uh, look, like they had a guilty conscience, like one day people are gonna find out what we're really doing and they're gonna, look, start to resist. And dude, look, the star and the swastika, look, Satan's kingdom is divided. It says that in, in frickin' the Bible, that's what Jesus says, and I get it. It's not that Satan has a kingdom of hell, what it's the kingdoms on this earth, it's the, the, uh, the, the political system, it's society, it's, it's the, the, 
It's the infrastructure. It's the religions, military, and political system. So, which, look, Satan's kingdom's divided. Look, you got Baptists, you got Presbyterians, you got Methodists, you got Catholics, you got Voodoo, you got Wicca. Uh, you know, you got, uh, Asian, uh, Buddhism, Taoism, Hinduism, and they're all just like basically like they, it, it, I've read a book about the ancient things of China and they basically copied one another and went back and forth and claimed credit for it. And in Shintoism, every single family, every single village has a different version of the same kind of philosophy. It's divided. It's very confusing. Um, and the sectarianism, dude, where, uh, the Christian church, the American Christian church is split and schizoided out and become borderline to the where, it, look, it's, it, look, it's Willie Lynch, religious Willie Lynchin. See that, look, the reason they did that, because look, the number of the slave population outnumbered the frickin' plantation population. At any time, if they would have just joined all together, the women, children, and men worked together, they probably could have overthrew the whole thing and took it over, dude. And that's, and, and look, this is just a, a, a look, eugenics, man. Eugenics comes from this Willie Lynch mindset, man. And, uh, like, even with Voodoo and Wicca, it's basically the same thing. They worship spirits, but yet they just claim a different flavor of it, dude. Uh, or ethnic flavor. And they're, it's divided. You know what I'm saying? Their practices, magical practices are different and they get similar results and different things. But, you know, you could basically, uh, if we all join together in any of these venues here, like when the bad join together, and that's what they are. They are joined together. They are very, uh, astute and, and, uh, like they do their stuff. Like we don't. We, we get, we get in conflict. We, uh, sabotage it. We get in petty bickerings and quarrelings, like at the waters of Mary Bar. You know what I'm saying? In the, the religious system over here. You got, even the Muslims, there's different sects where they kill each other because they some believe they're the true ones. And the look, you got the Pharisees and the Sadducees, man. They're both freaking hypocritical religious people. But it was the that was the, like the political religious political system of the day, and they were basically the Democrats and the Republicans. You know what I'm saying? And there you go, right there. All right, look. As far as the military, you got. The FBI, you got the police, you got the state police, you got the sheriffs, you got the metro police, you got the uh, city police, man, you got the hospital police, and then the university police, and uh, you got the CIA, and the NSA, and you got the DEA, and uh, the military si system, the, look, in, in, in Nazi Germany, one of the ways Hitler really lynched his own people was he made two groups freaking that had the identically the same job and he, they would pit them against one another. So they would have this jab in a bucket, crab in a bucket mentality where it was us versus them. And they would literally sacrifice one another. These little, these little systems would, these little competing factions. And, that, and look. People are easier to control when they're divided, right? Okay? So, you got Democrat, Republican. This is political system here. You got voters, non-voters. You got, let me see, uh, the vets, the veterans versus the police. They did that at one time. They weapon, they told the police to treat, uh, veterans as potential hostiles. For some reason, they learned that from that, uh, F L E E C T. So if they're supposed to be working for the same people, why are they doing that? You know what I'm saying? You got the good citizen versus the bad citizen. You got upper class versus the lower class. You got the educated versus the uneducated, aka indoctrinated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's our political system. It's split. Uh, and that keeps us fighting against each other instead of looking at who's doing, who's manufacturing it, who is causing this, this friction. Uh, it, it says that 
Woe unto oh wait, God hates a person who sows discord amongst the brethren. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you got and then listen historically, okay? You had city folk, country folk. You got Bloods, Crips. You got Democrats, Republicans. You got Cowboys, Indians. You got good cop, bad cop. You got terrorists versus statists. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got black folks versus white folks. You got all minorities versus white folks. And you got Roman and barbarian. I mean, this is a, a long used tactic of the in crowd, the out crowd. And, and using this to sway people in society, man. Um, it, it's, uh, I mean, man, it, it, it is, it is so effective and people don't even know that it's going on, that we're, we're basically being systematically willy lynched. Everybody is. Um, and, uh, I mean, no wonder there's so much like stuff going on because it's created this way. This is job security. This is the way that they ensure they have a right to exist is by, you know, they're making a, uh, the jab in a bucket has a hole in the bottom, dude. And you could just never, it's just like a narcissist safe haven that you could never satisfy. It's, it's made to be broken like the drug war. Like it was all a setup, dude. Um, anytime they say the war on something, the war on poverty means they're, they're causing inflation. War on education means they're cutting budgets in school and they're putting in technologies that's harmful to children. Uh, the war on this, the war on that, every time they're in on it, man, and they're, and they're funding both sides of the war, dude. That's what's going on right now with the jab, that's causing the jab in the bucket where it's like, look, now they're, they're, they're trying to entice or incite conflict but between people like look they look they want they just want to entice away incite the people to do all the work and for them you know what i'm saying they're trying to subcontract them through uh persuasion and coercion and basically uh basically almost like uh suggestive hypnosis dude um because these people are so programmed, dude. That is a program. This is an indoctrination. It is a institutionalization. Once you, look, once you're aware of how Satan's kingdom is divided, which isn't a real kingdom. It's this, look, the kingdoms on this earth are fake. They're fiat. You know what I'm saying? God's ultimately always in control. And that it, look, anyway, but look, he, he tricks these people into thinking that they got it all figured out. They got it all set up. It's all in place. You know what I'm saying? And uh it's like jabbing a buck. It's like, oh, we had to do it, so you have to do it. Just do what they say because they're taking it out on us all. When no, dude. When you instead of getting mad at us, you should be getting mad at the people doing it. We're not doing it. They're just blaming us. They're just blame shifting. And they're they're breadcrumbing you guys into more compliance with their with their uh tyrannical practices man with with their fiat with their lies and deceptions man with their outright lies man for surely our fathers inherited lies and trusting in this this satan's divided freaking kingdom is ridiculous dude it is ridiculous it is ridiculous redundant hypocrisy and it's all just heisted and repackaged and re, the, the, retold. And, uh, it, it's, it's ridiculous. But once you see it for it is and it, how ridiculous it is, you can start to make changes, man. You can maybe come out of your blind statism. Maybe you can have a radical conversion out of the religion of statism. You know what I'm saying? And see that it's all BS. And they're using it as a tactic to keep us freaking fixated on all the wrong stuff. A convenient manufactured scapegoat excuse for everything. I mean, it's ridiculous, dude, when you really sit back and look at it all.